All right, so now that we kind of know how to orient ourselves in ZBrush a little bit, uh, let's go ahead and try and use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just kind of drag on the canvas here, and you're going to see this is what it does. It's interesting, uh, but probably not particularly useful. So when ZBrush first came out, it was a 2.5D painting program, which means you painted on a canvas, and it had a little bit of height information as well as just 2D information. So that's why when I say paint on your canvas, this is what I'm talking about. This middle section right in here is basically your canvas. In fact, if you go up here to File, there's a Canvas section within the File menu here. You can go here and you can say Save Your Canvas, and whatever's on your canvas, you can save as an image. And of course, this image has height information. Now, however, when you hover over Canvas Save, you're going to see it says Save Document. And in fact, if you go up here to Document, Save As, that is save document. So really, canvas and document, if I say them, those are interchangeable. It's your document, it's your canvas. Uh, I'm probably going to use them both. Just know that I'm talking about your working area, your viewport right in the middle here. And one more custom thing I did, I forgot to mention. Let me go ahead and, uh, so right now my range is at zero. I'm going to, just when I'm recording, I don't like to capture a lot of gradients. Sometimes they don't compress very well, but if I change this back to 0.5, this will be the gradient you're probably seeing right here. So under documents, this is your document settings, and here is your document. You can see the borders of this document a little bit better now. Now that now that we've made a mess of our document here, and essentially what we're doing is we're taking the, by default, you're going to have the simple brush selected, uh, and you're brushing on your document. Now, we're going to go into cool 2.5D stuff eventually, but for the startup basics, we're going to start with 3D stuff. We're not going to do a lot of canvas work just yet. So what I'm going to do after I make this mess, I'm going to hit Control N, which is going to clear our canvas. If we go up here to Document, and you go down the menu, you'll see New Document. And you might think Control N is saying, give me a new document. Actually, it's not. If we do New Document, it's going to make us a completely new document, which is going to have a similar effect to clearing it. Uh, but if you just want to clear your canvas, and you hit Control N, it just clears your current canvas. If you want to make a new document, you go over here to Document, New Document, and you might see a W size uh, option turned on. You're going to see it auto fits your window size. So you're going to see, here's my working document, and there's a little bit of a gray area over here. If you wanted to fill up the entire space in here, you can go to Document, have W size turned on, Auto Fit to Window Size, hit New. Your document has been changed because we were painting on it. Would you like to save the changes as a you know document as a 2.5D image? We're going to go ahead and hit No, and now you can see our document size fills the entire space. Now there are instances where you're going to want your document to be huge for rendering purposes, or a certain size like 1024 by 1024 for tiling purposes. But for now, we'll just go ahead and fit our document to this window. And you know what, while we're talking about it, let's go to document here. I'm going to change my range back down to zero. Just again, I don't want to capture any gradients. You can feel free to leave this if you'd like. And another thing we can do is we can say, save this as my startup document. And it'll tell you now that we save this startup document here, every time you open up ZBrush, you'll have that same document size with the same settings. And that's just fine with me.